Remember the peach tree volunteer that I asked if I should trim it back? And the majority of the people said, no, don't trim it back. So I did not trim it back. This has got to be an extremely low chill volunteer peach. Last year it had very large peaches on it, so it means I'm going to have to thin these out if I want decent sized peaches. And anything up where I can't reach it is bird food. If the birds come and eat peaches, they'll go and eat the bugs around here, hopefully. But they weren't extremely flavorful. They were juicy, and they're a cling. Eh, I can deal with a cling. But this is an update on the volunteer peach tree. They got crushed by a falling branch from that thing. Are we setting any fruit yet? I don't see anything setting, but I have seen little bees buzzing around it. Up to four at one time. So there's still hope for it. Check it out, 7.30 in the morning on March, I forget, but we've got a little bit of fog going on here. It was a lot darker earlier, but I didn't think to film it. can hardly even see the trees over there. Earlier, I could barely see the bumper on that car. Well, here's double trouble. I was out collecting water. And who should happen to sneak in but double trouble? Come on. Out with the chickens. Out with the chickens. Out with the chickens. Go on. Come on. Out with the chickens. Out with the chickens. Out with the chickens. I know it's tasty in here, but out with the chickens. Out with the chickens. My pulley didn't work. I need to put new string on it. I've got it hooked up and it's getting very thin. So when I open the door, the string slides. And on the other end of the string, it's a bunch of odd weights. And there's fishing weights and curtain weights and what else? Drape weights. You name it, if it has that weight to it, I use it. And it pulls the gate closed normally. But sometimes it gets hung up. And guess who finds her way in?